they handle the big picture stuff, we deal with a very particular problem. That convict is where you enter the picture. No, no you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratch the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. It doesn't matter how I feel. I'm simply doing what's best for the security of the United Colonies. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UCC Stef, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. I'm not coercing you into doing anything. I'm simply giving you a chance to re So, what do you say? If I didn't think you had a chance, I would have left you in. You're just going to have to follow your instincts you aren't leaving until I have an answer. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Let's go. So, you took the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Go. Infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Hello. Still, it makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around. Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship, and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I know I could. But I wouldn't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. <clears throat> Lieutenant Toft is as organized as they come. You can be sure that the Martins Cross has gone through. Hey. Excuse me. Howdy. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is... Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. 
She works for the trade authority in Sidonia. So you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Well, it's the best we've got. Once you block your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation for... That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. Let's just say my superiors need proof that engaging the Crimson Fleet is a larger priority than they're willing to admit. If we shove enough concrete evidence under their noses, they'll have no choice but to allocate the resources that I've requested. At the same time, we can use the evidence to arrest members of the Crimson Fleet, weakening them enough to strike a fatal blow. Eager to get going? Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, as an undercover operative for UC System, you'll be ex Allow yourself to stray too far off the path and you stand the I don't want promises. I'm just asked. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion. Now. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, Head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your... While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some... It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while do what you have to do. But remember... I'm not advocating violence. I'm merely urging you to weigh the consequences before you open fire. Look, I can see that you're struggling with this. So let me simplify this for you. If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging you to follow that path. Use your instincts. I'm certain you'll do the right thing. For your own safety, Nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, you land in jail. You're going to have to deal with the fines. All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority. She's shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all, I'm afraid she's the best lead we... Good luck. Yes, what?
All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. Hmm? Yes. Commander Akande mentioned that when he proposed the idea. Lucky you. All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Yes. Are there other matters that require your attention? I'm listening. Ship's clear. It's just us.
If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Here's an idea. Why don't you shout that louder so everyone at UC Security hears? <sighs> Either show me what you're trying to unload or get the... Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to... If the Trade Authority is not interested, that says a great deal. All I'm going to point at is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC Security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Just demand the extra credits up front next time. These games are juvenile and tiresome. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Hello. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Right down to business, and no small talk. I like it. Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. Probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable-looking guy in the entire place. Something I can help you with? Hey, slow down. I, I don't... <clears throat> of course I owe... I owe Deimos. I owe my landlord. I owe Galbank. Heck, I... So why don't you just leave me here? Let me get... Adler, you said? Look, I'm tired. It's been a long... Uh, hey, hey, now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Let me think about that person. Oh, wait. You mean that, Adler? Yeah. I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. Well, look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? Clearly this man has never seen how hard I can squeeze. Oh, what thing? Sure, I, I guess I, I could... Well? Uh, well, I might be able to... Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of it. 
attention. Have you checked your air doors lately? something for me. There, would you look at that. I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he? Nice. Nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on him. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. You think you can handle running with money? Interested? Come on. You're not shopping for real estate, you know. I'm offering you a crack at some real money. So can you handle it or what? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place.